is a question is a message you are a worshiper you are a christian who is god what relationship do you have with god how much relationship do you have with god don't allow this book to confuse you this book is a book this is not just the bible are you hearing what i say here god is the bible this is a book how much relationship do you have with god as a christian who is your god how much your god can do for you it's just like me you don't have relationship with me you want to fellowship with me am i talking to somebody here if you have relationship with me if i see your missed call i can return the call sorry please if you don't have with me even if i see your hundred missed calls i will not return because we don't have relationship i might be your pastor yet we don't have relationship the same with god james chapter 4 says draw near to me and i will draw near to you verse 8 am i talking to somebody here how much do you know god as a christian if you don't know who is your god how can you thank him how can you be grateful you cannot be grateful to somebody that you are not close to who is your god how much do you have here in your life how is your personal relationship this is why you are calling the god of this the god of that the god of my papa the god of my daddy the god of my mommy you don't have god I pull leg in the shoe of my papa what of your shoe you don't have shoe because you are not close to him you can't talk to him because no relationship you only fellowship with him no relationship how is your relationship with god no relationship you are shouting holy ghost fire that is fellowship you are giving offering that is fellowship you are paying your tithe is fellowship you are giving in church is fellowship you are help, helping people is fellowship do you have relationship with him or you only fellowship with him how much relationship do you have with god Daniel 11 verse 32 he said the people who do know their God they shall be strong and do exploit the people who do know their God do you know your God or you only know the God of your Papa the people who do know their God they are strong you can see why you are not strong because you don't know your God little problem pull you down little trial bring you down little challenge drag you backward because you don't know your god you are not strong because you don't know your god the people who do know their god they are strong and do exploit this is why you are not doing exploits all your prayer is full of explanation it's full of question it's full of memory it's full of complaints full of pain because you don't know your god am i blessing somebody here if i'm blessing shout amen like thunder do you serve god or you serve church do you have relationship with god or you have relationship with pastor and church This is why when they offend you church you say they should give you your money back because you have relationship with church not with god 
if you have a relationship with with God, you can't take your offering back. You only have a relationship with church and pastor. This is why you are your prayer is full of shouting and crying. God is not a wicked God, he's a merciful father. Am I talking to somebody here? He will answer you according to the relationship you have with him. Do you know God is not answering your prayer? It's not your prayer, God answer. He said before you pray, I already answer. Meaning it's not our prayer, it's answering. Then why is he answering? He answer his word. God and his word are one. God answer his word. How much God do you have? This religious Christians, enough is enough. Draw near to your God. Learn to talk to your God. Learn to serve your God. Learn to worship your God. Stop worshiping men. If they make me verse, I will leave church because you are worshiping pastor. If they provoke me, I will not give off reggae because you are worshiping pastor. Am I talking to somebody here? Who is God to you? This is why you can't thank him because you are not sure the God you are serving. You are not sure. This is why you can't thank him. Today is Thanksgiving. You cannot thank him because you are not sure of who you are serving. You feel that pastor want to eat your money again. Part three. You feel that pastor want to carry your food again. You are not sure of who you are serving. That is why you can't thank him. If you know who you are serving, you will give God everything that belongs to him. Am I blessing somebody here? This is why so many Christians are still arguing tight today. They don't even know that tight is for children. Tight is for children. It's just like you carry 20 cartons of biscuit, give a child, you say, give me one inside. It's for children. You are a baby now. If you are not a baby, you will give all. Did God give you tight? He gave you all. For God so loved that we gave you his only begotten. He did not give you tight one tight. No, God gave all. The time has come for all of you to remove your eye from tights from 10%. Grow beyond 10%. Shout amen like thunder. Relationship. When you see us giving some time, you say, Ah, why will he give everything like that? Abi, you want to use our staff because you don't know your God. God gave all. He did not give tithe. Tithe is from Moses. From Abraham. It's for children. A mature Christian give all. How is your relationship with God? Do you know why you move from church to church, from church to church? Because you don't have God. You don't know your God. If you wake up in the midnight in Madala, you will hear prayer point. You will fear terrible prayer point. That is not of God. God do not answer such prayers. How is your relationship with God? Shout amen like thunder. When you come to God, what is the first thing you do? Set up relationship. He said, come unto me. All ye that are labor and heavy laden, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Relationship. Learn of me. You are calling all the pastor. Put me in your prayer. Remember me. Help me fast. Put me in your prayer. Remember me. Who are you? What are you doing to your life? If you really know your God, why are you consulting pastors to put you in their prayer? Nobody can put you in prayer. Prayer is personal. Am I blessing somebody here? How is your relationship with God? It's a question. Ask yourself this morning. 
Let me read something to you first. If you are going to play, shout fire. Psalm 27. Psalm 27. You serve God. You follow God. You are still serving devil at the same time. What consigns prayer with egg? What consigns prayer with egg? If you are not a bad Christian, what consigns prayer with egg? Oh, you think it's all about the solution? No. Any solution that takes your salvation away is not a solution. Any solution, whether you get baby from the solution or you buy Jeep, brothers and sisters, it's not a solution, it's a trap. Who is your God? Put for me Psalm 27, verse 1. Let's read together. What did the Bible say? The Lord is my word, is my light and my salvation. Let's pause there. You, who is the Lord to you? Who is God to you? David is telling you, the Lord is my light and my salvation. That is who God is to me. Who is God to you? Somebody is fighting you, you are running up or down. If the Lord is your light and your salvation, you should not fear. Am I talking to somebody here? You should not call anybody to put you in prayer. If the Lord is your Lord and your, your light and salvation, who shall I fear? The Lord is the strength, the ability of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? I prophesy to you. I rebuke every spirit of fear in your life. Have a personal relationship. Don't pass through anybody to God. Go to God direct. Don't pass through pastor. Don't pass through anybody. Go to God direct. Have a personal relationship. The Lord is my light and my salvation. How can you say God is your light and salvation? Salvation is life, internal life. And you are still going to Mala, meaning you are still in dark. You don't know your God. You go to Mala with your two year leg, enter Mala. You don't know who you are serving. The life in Christ is not all about solution. No, we are the solution. It's not testimony. We are the testimony. The question is, who is God to you? Who are you serving? Oh, my maid has passed me. In which lay? In which lay? Am I blessing somebody here? Oh, my maid has passed me. How did you know? Who marked it for you? Who are you serving? Verse 2. Let's read. Verse 2. When the wicked, even my enemy and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, what will happen? They stumbled and fall. That is if you know who God is to you. There is no prayer here. He did not tell you to fast. There is no fasting and prayer here. Nothing. Know who God is to you. Is what the Bible is telling you. The Lord is my light and my salvation. If you know who God is to you, refuse to fear. The reason why you are still wrapped with fear, you are still covered with fear, is because you don't have God. You only have pastor. Am I blessing somebody here? Verse 3. Verse 3. 
3. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. Shout amen like thunder. Do you know many people don't know who God is? They think God is Babalawo. They think God is their president. You don't know who God is. He's a spirit. He's everywhere. God is a spirit. The earlier you know him, the better for you. Where an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. No war should rise against me. In this will I be confident. I pray for you. May God rise mightily in your life. This is why I don't fear. Why is this man talking with boldness? The Lord is my strength. Who is God to you? Are you serving God or you are serving pastor? I just want to give the money you just because of the pastor. I am pitying the pastor. Shame on you. Don't pity me. If you don't have God, sit down. Don't pity me. I've never tell anybody to pity me. The pastor, a small pastor, I just felt he's hungry. That is why I just carried the bag of rice to do Thanksgiving so that he with his wife they can eat. Oh, not for God, for pastor. You are worshiping pastor. You don't have God. The people who do know their God, they are strong and do exploit. Give praise to Jesus Christ. I want to listen to you. Psalm 100, verse 1 to 5. Many of you, is pastor, you are serving. You are not serving God yet. If you are serving God, you will be Christ conscious. If you are serving God, you will be Christ conscious. You will not be seeing man. You will not be hearing the voice of man. The reason why you are full of the voices of men, you don't hear the voice of God, is because you don't serve God, you are serving men. Let's read Psalm 100 verse 1. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. How can you make a joyful noise unto the Lord when you don't have the Lord? Do you see why many of you don't laugh? Many of you here, you cannot laugh again. You just think Tinubu is our problem. No, no government is our problem. Verse 2. Okay. Serve the Lord with what? With gladness. Come before his presence with what? With singing. The next verse. With gladness. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastures. Hallelujah. Who is God to you? Are you the people of God or you are the people of church? There are some churches, people who go and do meeting outside, they say, we'll find the pastor. You don't know what you are doing. Have you read a place that says, Touch not my anointed? Is it your Bible? And do my prophet no harm. You will select rebels inside church. Let's go and do meeting and fight, Pastor. It's because you are not a Christian, you are a bandit. Verse 3. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Go to verse 4. Enter his, into his gate with what? With thanksgiving. How can you come to the gate of the Lord with thanksgiving when you don't even know the Lord? Enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with what? With praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name how can you bless who you don't know 
it's a problem in church. It's a problem in church. Who is God to you? That is the question of the message this morning. Who is God? Are you serving God or you are serving pastor? If I go to synagogue, that is my spiritual father, Prophet T. Yoshua, the offering I pay here is the offering I pay there because it's the same church of God. Ah, it's, this is not my church. Let me reduce my offering to five naira. You don't have God. Who is your God? I have never seen myself shout one day, Father, arise. It's not buried. It's not in the grave. It's a spirit. It's everywhere. When you begin to ask your God to arise, it means your God is buried. You don't know where he is. Elijah told the prophet of Baal, he said, call the name of your Lord. They called the name of their Lord from morning to night. He did not answer. Who is your God? A man came for, my, for prayer, for counseling. He said, man of God, I have prayed and prayed and prayed. God refused to answer me. I said, you don't have God. He's not a wicked God. You person, human being, you answer your children by paying their school fees. Are you now faithful than God? Am I talking to somebody here? I say you don't have relationship with God. You only fellowship with Him. If you are listening to my voice this morning and you are calling God, is not answering you. It means you are not registered. You don't know your God. Let me read something to you. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Are you getting blessed? If you are getting blessed, I'll fire. Psalm 48, verse 14. Psalm 48, verse 14. For this God is our God forever and ever. Am I talking to somebody here? Is he your God? For this God is our God forever and ever he will be our God evil unto death is your God like that who are you serving who are you serving did you come here this morning to thank God or to thank pastor why are you here this morning is it for times given to God or times given to pastor Serve God with a sincere heart. That is the end of the message. Serve God with a sincere heart. Serve God with a sincere heart. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet. Lift up your hands.